I have been hearing a lot about automation more and more for the last couple of months. So today I wanna to go over the four automation tools that I would recommend you learning and understanding how to use before your really annoying coworker finds them. Now these tools are make.com, Zapier, Power Automate, and Innaten. Now the first one I wanna start talking about is make.com. This one is super easy to use. And again, I'll link everything below and I've done full reviews on these. So I'll link everything in the description. Um, but here to just to give you a rundown, you basically create these like connectors that then connect things together. So you can send basically an email to Google Sheets. You can send a list of emails to MailChimp and you can create these really cool connections. The ones that I have right now running, um, right now I have one that copies my Google calendar over to my Outlook calendar because I don't like to sync them, right? Like I don't need, to, I don't wanna send send it to myself. That's the other thing that you could do is you could actually just CC yourself, um, but I don't like doing that. I just have it check and then it pulls it over. Um, but they're really easy to make. If you want to create a scenario, you basically click that button, you click this plus, you dig through a bunch of options and then you sign into your account um, and then you pick what you want it to do. It's super easy to use, highly recommend. Um, if you are needing to move data across different platforms, but play around with it because there's lots of different templates that you can look into on here. And I kind of go through here for inspiration before I commit to actually automating something. Now the second automation software is called Zapier. Now this one is exactly like make.com, but a little bit more name brand, you know? So a lot of people have heard of Zapier and a lot of companies use it. And so there's a lot of the same connections, but a lot of the time you don't hear a lot about make.com, but you hear a lot about Zapier. It's kind of like that. It's just more expensive and because it's name brand. It was one of the first ones to come out. So I feel like I am obligated to talk about it. Um, so you go in here and you can search any app that you want. So once you sign in, and these are paid softwares by the way, and I'll link everything below, but um, you can go in here and say, you know what? I wanna use YouTube and I want it to connect it to um, like, it, like your blog, like Wix or something. And you can literally just search whatever you, whatever software you're using. So you can use Wix, you can use um, Twitter. That's the one that I have. And then you can click, oh, I want when a new video happens, do this, you know, create a tweet, blah, blah, blah. So that's the one that I'm running today. So if we go into Zaps here, you'll see I have one running and that's just my YouTube post to Twitter. Super easy to use. It's like these little blocks and um, you can open these up and see exactly what I'm posting to Twitter. So that is really cool. You can customize these as much as you want. I really like it. Again, I have a full video on how to actually make them, how to use the tool, that kind of stuff. So I'll link that below. Now, another software that I don't hear a lot of people talk about it enough is Power Automate. Because especially if you're doing, um, automating your busy work at actual work, like not for your side business or not for, you know, a small startup, but for like a official on a Microsoft platform, work, work, you know, corporate work, then Power Automate, you most likely have it. You just have never heard of it. So you'll go to that site. I'll link it below. You'll sign in with your, your, um, actual company email and log in that way. Usually you can just fly right in there, but you might need to talk to your admin, but this is great for anyone who's on a Microsoft platform. So if you're like, yeah, we use, you know, a lot of Microsoft tools like teams and all that, this is your best bet for automation. So you'll come into here and it's under my flow section. And again, they have a templates. All these companies have a template section, but this one's geared more towards, you know, um, business, business stuff. So you can go into my flows, create a flow. You can do it straight from a Visio template if you like using Visio templates. Um, you can do manually trigger a flow. I'm just doing like a test one just to show you kind of like what, what I'm talking about here. <laughs> you create a new step. You can connect this to anything from like Smartsheet um, to Trello. They have all kinds of different connectors and it says, okay, you want to connect to Smartsheet. What do you want to do? Get a sheet. Okay, it wants you to sign in. Let's say you want to connect that to Trello, you know, like it, it's great for if you have a ton of different um, software tools and you're like, you know what, I wanna update my Trello card and then you sign in here. And then you test it and it's super easy to use, very similar to Zapier or make.com, but this one 
Again, it's more for people who are on a Microsoft 365 business account or an enterprise account or more heavy into the Microsoft land. Now, the last tool I want to talk about is called Innaten. Now, the cool thing about this tool is that it has a little bit more functionality and customization what you can do with your automations. So this is gonna be more on the developer heavy side, but if you've ever tried to use an automation software and you're like, oh my gosh, it can do easy stuff, but it can't really do like hard stuff. Like if I want to parse JSON or just like more intense kind of tasks, then it, those kind of easy button clicked automations don't really work as well. So this is for that. If you need like more intense stuff, convert JSON to Excel file, you know, all these kind of, some of, some of the stuff I don't even understand completely, you know, cause it, it's a very heavy on the storing data, that kind of stuff. So if you go into here, um, you can download the desktop version for free or you can pay for the cloud version. So I will link um, my affiliate links below, but you basically click a new blank workbook and it looks something like this. And then you can click from all these options. So you could do Notion, you could do, so you could pick just something like that. You could do um, anything that you could possibly need and you can even go into development and like see how these are way more developer heavy. Ooh, even Bubble, they have a little option here, Cloudflare code, um, run a, draw, a custom JavaScript code. Like it is very like developer heavy and very cool. So I totally recommend if you are interested in looking at more intense, um, automation software, but you you find that the other kind of easy breezy automation software is kind of break down. And Aten is really great for all kind of like the crazier stuff that you want to do, like data and storage, all these, but you can see there's a ton of stuff. What's cool is once you click on it, you can actually, or double click, you actually can see the docs and click there and it'll show you all the custom docs that how, how to set up that automation tool and all that. Um, it, it really reminds me of like, node red if you've ever played with that um but it's again it's going to be a little bit more developer heavy you can kind of see that like saying a notion api there's going to be an output and this this will be in json so it's definitely more on the developer side i just want to make sure you guys understand that but it's still really awesome tool so again i have a whole video on this one as well i will link it below um just to give you a better idea of how to actually use it and I go through an example and everything. Now I hope this gives you a breakdown of some of the software tools that I've started to use and started to pay for to automate some pieces of my busy work, some pieces of my, you know, side hustle as far as, you know, automating my 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 Twitter feed from YouTube so that I don't have to like market my own videos. It just does it for me automatically. So check those tools out. Totally recommend Power Automate if you're on a Microsoft platform. The other three really depends on your personal preference and how deep you wanna get into the automation. So if you wanna see a more, a deeper dive really into Innaten or make.com, I will link them up here so you guys can get a feel for how the actual automation side works instead of just that quick little 30 second, here's super fast kind of summary. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.